This video is sponsored by June's Journey, which is a hidden object crime-solving mystery game set in the 1920s. It's available for free on Android, iOS, and desktop. There are so many gorgeous, intricate scenes for you to find hidden clues within to help you solve mysteries. It's fun to look at, super entertaining, and also relaxing to play. Right now, June's Journey is organizing a special contest for their third anniversary. Solve as many of the railway riddles as possible to increase your chances to win a $15,000 USD luxury travel gift card and many more prestigious rewards. The game starts on the 27th of September and ends on the 4th of October. Pre-register now on RailwayRiddles.com to be the first to be notified when the fun starts. Or, if you're not so much into riddles, head into June's Journey to enjoy daily bonus rewards every day between the 27th of September and the 5th of October. There's even an exclusive time-limited decoration to catch. Thanks so much to June's Journey. Be sure to check out the description if you'd like to play the game and register for Railway Riddles. Got the password. That's my girl, I knew you'd remember. Or is it still on your hand from when I wrote it there yesterday? Ah, oh, yes, ever so faintly. Proud of you nonetheless. Smashing glad you've decided to come have a peek at my little behind the bookshelf club. Yes, uh, the place was started up by one of my more well-to-do sweethearts. We've since gone our separate ways, of course, but with me being the muse for the entire operation and all, he decided to leave it to me. Mm -hmm. I have my gals who take over on the nights that I'm busy, but Wednesdays and Fridays, sundown to sun up, this is where you'll most often find me. It had the usual humble beginnings, just a secret spot for our friends to gather for sweet music and sweeter drinks, but the operation soon grew beyond us. Word spread through town pretty quick that this was the hopping spot to be, uh, it became somewhat of a magnet for all types, showgirls, movie stars, wealthy New Yorkers. But, thanks to our somewhat eclectic tastes, our most avid customers do tend to be from the more artsy underground crowd. Poets, playwrights, painters, activists, that sort of thing. Yes, there's certainly never any shortage of riveting conversation to be had. Fascinating faces to be met. I am a bit surprised you came, to be honest. You have always been the more, let's say, law-abiding of us two. So, I suspected my invitation might go politely unredeemed. But how lovely that you've proven me wrong. Allow me to fetch you a membership card so that if you ever feel like stopping by and I'm gallivanting about elsewhere, you won't have to worry about keeping up to date the latest passwords and such. So, all you'll need to do is flash this bit towards anyone who looks at you sideways, and there will be no doubt that you're exactly where you ought to be. The front is to be shown to the doorman to be afforded entry, and the back to the bartender to be afforded bubbly, the initial level costs one hundred dollars, marks you as a dead hummingbird, with privileges to attend on weeknights between five and eight, with seats towards the back, two guests allowed, with one free drink for the each of you every night. Although it is the lowest level, I am consistently charmed by the aesthetics of this membership card. Quite lovely, isn't it? But this.
this one, not for you, my dear. No, no. For five hundred dollars, weekend visits between nine p.m. and two a.m. Five guests allowed, and three free drinks for each of you. She quite reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, don't you think? A beautiful blue bow, flowing blonde hair, sort of an innocent look in the eyes, yes. Blind rabbit. The most prestigious card available. The Sleeping Fox affords unrestricted access to any seating you'd like, whenever you'd like it, and unlimited drinks. So desperately do I wish to see your face around here that this most coveted card is now yours, entirely free of charge. And don't you dare mention it. Right then, let's slip that into your pocket. You should know we've got an inside man on the force who tips us off to raids and inspections and the like, so we don't have to worry about anything like that. But if anything ever does go south, law enforcement wise or bad date wise, there's a secret escape tunnel hidden in the powder room just behind the coat rack. But, you know, technically we aren't even doing anything illicit down here. You see, the law specifically prohibits the sale of alcoholic beverages. No one here purchases any such thing. All I'm selling is air kisses. One dollar a pop with a complimentary drink as thanks for your patronage. Nothing on the books forbidding that. Now then, let's fix you up a cocktail. What would you like, my dear? Not sure. That's fine. I'm always pleased by the opportunity to show off a lovely little menu. We've got Jack Rose, Sidecar, Mint Julep, Aviation, French 75, Mary Pickford, Bees Knees, Mimosa, Fallen Angel, and Hanky Panky. What do you think? Do you any of us calling your name? Mint Julep. Wonderful choice. Offers a beautiful sweet, the smoky, and herbal flavors. Place in four to five sprigs of mint. And the bourbon whiskey. Not all well. the glass with crushed ice. And there you have it. A mint julep made with love. Put that right there for you, dear. So, you should know that the way things work around here is that every guest is gifted by the doorman one of these gorgeous little golden envelopes tucked inside are slips of paper labeled with the names of each and every cocktail we offer you simply select the slip you would like 
write your name on the back and drop it off here in the dish on my counter. When I've got it ready for you, I'll place it down at the end and say French 7 day 5 for Elizabeth so she can come fetch it. It's quite an excellent system, I must say. No needless dallying about. No. Instead of wasting her precious moments hovering over the bar, waiting to catch my attention, lurking here as she waits for her drink to finally be fixed, Miss Elizabeth can be dancing and chatting to her heart's content. It would seem that my excitement over your arrival has caused me to neglect my guests most egregiously. The drink dish, it's overflowing. <laughs> what do you think? While I work on these orders, would you like to go dancing over in the next room? Join a table, make some conversation, or make yourself at home here with me at the bar. Listen to the music from a gentler distance. Keep me company as I fix these drinks up. Perfect. You always know just what I'd like to hear. Let's see. Looks like our first up is an aviation for William. This one's got a highly refined, fascinating flavor. Not to mention a striking purple hue. The key to getting the colour is a somewhat elusive liquor. Creme de violet is definitely not an easy one to find, but certainly worth the trouble. There's really nothing quite like it. So, we'll need to grab a shaker. of lemon Somewhat astringent quality of the bathtub gin. Mm -hmm. 
rounds off those jagged edges. And you can always top it off with a float of dry champagne for some extra razzle dazzle, which you know I always opt for. Thank you for Edward. Ooh. Fallen angel for Henrietta. Certainly an acquired taste. Imagine if you will. Thank you. 
fallen angel We'll need to coat the rim of the glass with sugar. Then into the shaker goes ice and cognac. She was in Cuba with Charlie Chapman. So we'll need a shot of white rum. Mary Pickford for Charles. <laughs> Mimosa for Dorothy. Named for its lovely colour. Have you ever seen a mimosa? They have the most marvellous yellow blossoms. So, first filling the glass and halfway with champagne. for Dorothy. Thank you for joining me.